Hey fellow woodcutters, Topsaw here. I'm going to do a quick project in Fusion 360. Just to get started drawing, create a model, and create working drawings. Step one is to set up your educational account so that your name's in the upper left-hand corner. We're going to be drawing this wooden block here. It's just a skills board that we do in the shop to make sure we know how to use every one of the tools. And then you really should start with a paper drawing of it, and this should be in your notebook. This software, like all software, is all about file management. My files are up here. If I hit that little house, um, there are all my folders. I'm going to go into the folder fall of 2022. I'm going to create a new folder and title this the Project Skill Board. After I'm done that, I can save my drawings and they'll all go into that skill board. After I've managed my files, I go over to document settings and I make sure my units are in inches. Now I'm ready to start drawing. I'm going to go to create. I'm going to start by creating a sketch. It's asking me what plane I want to draw in. I look in the upper right hand corner here. I can see a box. I like to draw an X and Y. So that's going to be the green and the red and extrude forward into Z. A lot of ways to draw this. This is not the best way. It's just one way to do it. I'm going to create a line. I'm going to start at the origin. I'm going to go over to the right, eight space five eighths, zero degrees. So I'm just going to click my mouse and that's going to create that line kind of out of the window. So using the roller ball, I can zoom in or out and holding the roller ball down, I can move it. Then I want to come up four and a quarter inches, four space one quarter. 90 degrees so I'm just going to click then I'm going to come over I don't know how long this is so I'm going to come all the way over to there and then from there I'm actually going to hit escape and then I'm going to go back to my line button click at the origin I do know the length of this line is two space three quarters uh, that looks good I'm going to hit the mouse button and then it's going to keep me in the draw mode. I don't know how long this hypotenuse for this triangle is. So I'm going to just make it too long like that tab. I know this angle is 135. And then I'm going to click and then hit escape to get out of that function. Now that I have my block pretty well drawn there, that looks pretty good. I'm going to trim off this line and that line. Then I need a point here to draw my circle, a radius circle. So I'm going to do that with a rectangle, but I don't want to put a block in here that's going to stay part of my part. So I'm going to use what's called a construction line. That's over here. Clicking here, I come over to tab two, enter. There it is. I'm done with my construction line, so I can turn that off. Over to my circle, centered there, and clicking right to the edge. So that's going to be my radius arc. Escape to get out of that, that mode. I'm going to trim my circle off. I'm also going to trim that line off. As you go over them, you can see what line you're trimming. So that looks good. What I did by accident there is I trimmed my construction lines. So I should have trimmed that line and that line instead. This light blue is say it is a non-constrained item. But we'll stop right there and finish the sketch. Now that the sketch is finished, I'm going to hit extrude. And if I want to see what that looks like, I bring it into the house. I'm going to grab this arrow. My wood is three quarters thick, liner 0.75. I'll click, enter, and there's my solid. I could go to modify and use the appearance right here. Or I could just hit the A key on the keyboard and appearance will come up. You can set whatever wood you want. If you want cherry, this one right here has not been downloaded, but these two have. I'm just going to grab this maple and drag it over and put it on the block. And then now I have a, an appearance of wood. Now that I'm all done drawing it, I have to put this hole in right here. If you can see it, I'm going to do that as a separate sketch. Down here is the last sketch I drew. No, extrude. Here's my last sketch I drew. I got to go create, 
a sketch and I want to sketch it on this front plane of the block. So I click on that. Again, I'm going to create a rectangle with my construction lines, snapping here, going uh, up one and a half, tab over to the length two, there it is, move it up a little bit, construction line, turning it off, then go back to the circle, snap here, I think this drilled in hole is one and a half, so 1.5, I'm going to click, and I'm actually going to finish that sketch, that's all of it to that sketch, back to extrude, I'm going to click on that, and I can see I can drag it out, a positive amount, or I could just enter negative 0.375 or 3 eighths of an inch, enter, and then there's my solid. Now that I'm all done, I'm going to go to design, create a drawing. This is from my design. I'm going to call this skills board, JS, my initials. It's going to be in the fall 2022 folder. I'm going to save it. And then now it's asking you what kind of drawing do you want to create? Um, these are standards. I'm in inches. I'm going to use a size paper so that I can print it out on here. I'm going to do it in a landscape. So 11 by eight and a half. So I have that set hit. Okay. Here's my paper. And then here's my product or project. Uh, it's too small. Let me try a scale of here. One to two. That looks pretty good. I'm going to click it in there. Kind of centered with a little bit of room left over. I'm going to hit OK. I'll put some more projected views up here. And what do you want for your parent view? It's going to be this one. This will be my top. This will be my right side. And then right here is my isometric. And then I'm going to hit my right button. OK. That looks pretty good there. I want to go up here to dimensions. Uh, I can do linear dimensions, snap that one, that one. So I get my dimensions on here. I want to put, let's see on my dimensions here. I'm just going to use the dimension button. I'll give you my diameter, that radius. Then additionally, I'll hit escape. I want to use the text key and fill this in and say inches, and it should be skills board JS, and your name and date should be down there, and then print this out, and this is what you turn in.